Hi guys, and welcome to Two Minute Tips for Autism. Well, we have a special guest, Dr. Rosinal. You're one of my favorite doctors, as you know. Guys, just so you guys know, he treats Jackson, and so I am super jazzed that he is here this month to talk to you guys about Two Minute Tips. So one of our first questions we got is, many parents report regression after anesthesia. Do you have any tips on when different par parents have to put their kids under? I know Jackson had to go under, so what do we do? Yeah, it's it's difficult because you don't always know ahead of time that it's going to happen, right? Yeah. So it's a fairly common procedure, um, especially if kids undergo general anesthesia. So there are certain anesthetic medications that um, have potential side effects. Some of those side effects include um, impairing the function of the mitochondria. The mitochondria are parts of the body that produce energy, and we find that in some children with autism that their mitochondria don't work quite as well as they should. There may be some dysfunction of the mitochondria, and so therefore certain medications may actually make that dysfunction a little bit worse, and you will see some kids sometimes that will regress after having general anesthesia. Um, there's also some concern about general anesthesia as far as learning disabilities. So there's been a couple studies showing that the more times you have to do general anesthesia on a child, the more likely the probability the child will develop some type of learning disability goes up. So that's a concern too. So we try to use medications, work with anesthesiologists, um, work, use medications that are less likely to put the mitochondria under stress. So there's a certain group of medications that you can use that are probably a little bit safer. And then oftentimes we try to do things that will boost mitochondria function a little bit. For example, uh, methyl B12 injections, other antioxidants and supplements that you might give before the surgery, maybe during the surgery and even afterwards for a while to try to you know, lower oxidative stress, improve mitochondrial function so that these medications hopefully have less of a potential like side effect. like a precursor effect. kind of, right? Well, just to, yeah, sort of tune things up, so okay. to say. Tune things um, up. Okay. But a lot of kids do the do general anesthesia and do okay, but you never know which kids are gonna have an issue. So you can screen the children ahead of time to see is there evidence of a mitochondrial problem by doing some blood tests and, and gotcha. also some clinical evaluation. And if you feel like the child is, you know, has evidence that the mitochondria may be compromised, then you're gonna to try to take more precautions when you do anesthesia. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. And guys, that's two minute tips <clears throat> for autism. Until next time, bye.